So here I have for you another cool installment of FalseG Napari TrackMate. What's new in this plugin? So as you know, this plugin is in constant development, and before you have seen that you can actually get these kind of uh, histogram and temporal statistical plots that you see over that over the tab here after you load these XML and CSV files and hit the run button. And now once you hit the run button, you will also see a new drop down menu appear here which is uh, select the track IDs to analyze and you have seen and you will see also see there's a separation between the kind of track types so you can have only dividing tracks being analyzed in one analysis or non dividing tracks being analyzed in the other analysis so for what uh, here would you you would do is just say let's say I want to see a dividing track so you will just hit the stab over here and it will load this uh, dividing tracks and then you have to hit this orange button to actually see uh, this particular track appear as a tracks layer so this is the tracks layer of Napari which uh, has been there for a few versions already and now you can see this uh, tracks so for the division you can see the cell uh, which is being tracked by a track mate and now you see here being visualized in Napari and so here by default you can uh, You get a track ID as the default color of the track, but now you can also choose uh, Differently how to color these particular tracks. So for this that you have on your left hand side this drop-down menu where you have certain properties like the generation of the track if it starts from the root which is the top of, of the track that's uh, where it starts and then until it divides its generation zero if it divides the daughter cells become generation one and if the daughter cells divide they become generation two and so on so you can color your tracks with this property you can color them with speed and you can for example color them with time so this is just a simple visualization of your track uh, and the color now represents this time and you can have these different visualization options where you can change for example the tail length and so on this comes also from the party this, this comes from me show the id of the track uh, which you will see here on the little dot and now let's say i go on to see a non-dividing track i say let's give me zero you click this button it's going to re remove this particular track and it's going to replace this with this particular track uh, which is the current chosen track which is zero so track id is zero so you see it kind of in purple and now here's the cool thing let me say I want to see all of the non-dividing tracks at once you hit display selected tracks give it a time to calculate and display all of these tracks at once and then I will see what happens when I change this color to generation now because these are non-dividing tracks there is actually only one generation which is generation zero right so this is what you see when you actually start to scroll over the time that all of them have the same color so it's generation zero that's what we expect and if you don't like it you can see it with time so all of them will have the same color because they are at the same time right and then you can visualize them with speed so speed is a property which is attached to each of these uh, cells and now you can color the track with the speed of the cell at that particular time and you can visualize these tracks with the colored speed right so it's kind of a very visual way of getting information quickly so using this now if I say I want to see both of the tracks like both the dividing and the non dividing at the same time and then it will actually take all of the tracks which are in your experiments and then it would be you would be able to visualize this uh, at the same time and now the cool thing is that if I choose generation I can very quickly see so let's go to the middle time point so it's like if I go over here I could very quickly see that these uh, purple color this generation zero so they are non dividing tracks mostly and the green ones are generation two so they come from the dividing tracks so in this way you can actually just uh, get a quick visual view of uh, which regions correspond to non dividing tracks which regions are in generation one or two already so this is a kind of cool way of uh, uh, looking at your experiments and then using these different attributes to just color the tracks with those attributes and say okay I can visually see how the global picture looks like for my particular tracks and you can always go back and say now I just want to look at my dividing track number 10 again 
and I'm going to color this uh, let's say with speed yeah so don't forget to hit this orange button because that's how I programmed this uh, for now so you have two steps like select the track and then hit the button and then you by default get this track ID color which you can then change to let's say speed and then you can say okay so when was my cell going fast I see lightish color and when was my cell going slow I see kind of a different color right the green one so this is the new features which I've put in I have to write unit tests to make sure everything is working fine but so far it seems all right and uh, now the next thing to do is like I have done a kind of a special I have made a special structure where each cell contains its information of which track it belongs to what's the size at a particular given time and the different attributes and this would be actually populated in the table which is not here right now and now the goal is to make this table a bit interactive so you can go to this uh, frame select the cell get it highlighted in the table get some kind of properties uh, and some additional plots which is what I'm thinking right now to do but for now it's like the track layer is there 